Hello everyone, welcome to this Senshu Math 2015 part 2 and in the part 2, there's on the plane xy, there are 4 points 0, 0.0, 0, 0.3, 0, 0.3, 0, 0 and 4.0 and the best thing to, to start with that is just draw the coordinate with uh, just simple measurements And we just draw the points where the question asks, so it is not really complicated. Okay, so there is the point O, which is 0, 0.0, and there is point A in 0, 0.3, there is point B of 0, point minus 0.3, and point C of 4.0. Now, the first question asks, what is the equation of a straight line from AC? So basically, they ask this, this line. So from A to C, what is the equation of a straight line? The, uh, the coordinate of A is known as 0 0.3 and C is 4.0. We could actually use a direct formula. So you can say that this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. And if you have two coordinates and they ask about the straight line, you could actually make directly with this formula. So y minus y1 y2 minus y1 equals x minus x1, x2 minus x1. What this is just, you know, you substitute all the value, and if you actually practice more with this kind of formula, it is actually a much simpler way to create a straight line from two set of coordinates, okay? So y1 is 3, y2 minus y1, which is minus 3, x minus 0 over 4 minus 0. So that is 4y minus 12 equals minus 3x. And for the nature of the answer, you can see that it's 3x plus 4y minus 12 equals 0. And now number 2 is really unique because it's asked about the circumcenter, the coordinates of the circumcenter of the triangle ABC. So basically from the point here, A, B to C, it is actually now considered a triangle. So let's just draw that here, just a simpler way to do it. And we know that this length is 6, right? This is 5 because 3 and 4. And using the uh, Pythagorean theorem, this is 5 and this is 5. Okay, so what is actually the circumcenter of, an, of a triangle? Uh, circumcenter of ABC is actually just the median. So from the side A, okay, so the median means the line, divide this into two equal sides. Same, same with this, with two equal sides, and this. You can see that this is the circumcenter of the triangle, or we could actually call that, sen, uh, you could actually call it centroid, right? So the circumcenter here is actually much different than the other one which you might know that is the called the angle bisector theorem so the angle bisector theorem divide this side into equal angle right so uh, to find the center that happens with the angle bisector theorem is actually called the in center of the tri triangle and this these two has different formula for the circumcenter that is asked in the question the formula to find the coordinate is actually x1 sine 2a plus x2 sine 2b plus x3 sine 2c over sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c and then for the y coordinate y1 sine 2a plus y2 sine 2b plus y3 sine 2c over sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c and yeah so this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate and you can see here x1 x2 x3 this is just the coordinate of these three points right so from there to ease the calculation we should actually find each of this angle first okay so for to find the angle you can see that this has uh, three sides 
right? He could actually found uh, one of them with the cosine law. Okay, so basically, let's say you uh, used use this one to find the angle A. So five squared equals thirty six six squared plus five squared minus two times six times five cosine A. And now you get cosine A. You could get sine A later, right? So this is cross. So this is thirty six over there. This is twelve times five. 60 cosine a you simplify that divided by uh, 12 this 3 over 5 so sine a is 4 over 5 and from this you can find sine 2a which is 2 times sine a times cosine a that is 2 times 3 over 5 times 4 over 5 that is 24 over 25 now you can see that for the angle b you can see that it has the same properties with the sine to a right because uh, if you calculate the angle b it is just the same formula of this uh, cosine formula so sine 2b is also 24 over 25 and now for the last of sine 2c you can find it uh, using this so 36 equals 25 plus 25 uh, minus 2 times 5 times 5 cosine a and from this 36 equals 50 minus 50 cosine a this is 14 over 50 equals cosine a and this will be equal to 7 over 25 and just using the triangle uh, this is 7 25 24 so sine a Sorry, sine C, angle C. So sine C is 24 over 25. And for sine 2C, it's actually 2 times 24 over 25 times 7 over 25. That is 24 times 7, 168. And 168 times 2, which is 336 over 25. And now we just... Uh, substitute the the value of sine to C, the value of sine to B, value of sine to A in this uh, form. And now you can see that from the coordinate of this, this is 0 0.3, right? This is 4.0, this is 0 point minus 3. So you can see that the x1, let's say this is x1, this is x2, this is x3. You can see that this is valued to 0, right, because of the x coordinate. So 0 plus 0 plus, this is not 0, this is 4. So 4 times sine 2c, which is 336 times, or over 25, over sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c. So that is 24 over 25 plus 24 over 25 plus 336 over 25, comma. And you can see that from this, y1 is 3 you can see that sine 2a and sine 2b has the same value right and y1 and y2 has the same value but a uh, different sign so it is 3 times sine 2a plus minus 3 times sine 2b is 0 right it's cancel each other so 0 you can see that y3 is also 0 so overall this is 0 the y coordinate okay so we can now actually just calculate the x coordinate so you can see that that is 4 times 336 over 25 so that is uh, 1344 over 25 and this add up all together so that is about uh, 384 over 25 and if you simplify that <clears throat> that will be equal to 7 over 8.0 so that is about the circumcenter of the abc of the triangle abc remember that circumcenter is actually calculate the line that is go to the median so there's three lines goes from each points and the center that where the lines meet that is called the circumcenter okay now let's go to number three 
Number three said, when point D is the intersection of bisector of angle ABC and x-axis, then OD uh, and DC is what ratio? And the coordinates of the inner center of ABC is what? So this question means is that from this uh, picture, it says that when point D is the intersection of the bisector angle ABC uh, and x-axis, then OD divided by DC. And now to make this simpler, we can see that ang angle ABC, so the bisector is goes from here, right? So this is divided into two equal angles. They just ask that there is a bisector going to this angle. What is the point they intersect at this x-axis? Now for that, you could actually just redraw the triangle so that you can have easier look. So you can see that, uh, let's say this is the bisector, right? Goes into this side. And then you know that the angle the triangle goes by this way and this is 3 this is 3 this is 4 right and this is 5 and they just asked what is OD ratio with DC you can see that this is 4 so this is let's say this is X this is 4 minus X and to find this angle you can see that this is a triangle of 3 4 5 if you have that kind of triangle just remember that they have like a special angle, which is, this is 37 degrees, and this is 53 degrees, okay? And now, by that fact, this is 37, this is 53, and this is completely uh, divided by 2, so this angle is 53 over 2, this is 53 over 2. And now, with just a tangent, we could actually find what is x, okay? So, that way... You could uh, make that tangent 53 over 2 is x over 3. Now, how to calculate tangent 53 over 2? You can see that that is the half angle, right? Half angle. Now, the formula is tangent half angle. It is actually sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. So, that means it is sine 53 over 1 plus cosine 53. Remember that sine 53 is 4 over 5. 1 plus cosine 53 is 3 over 5. So this is 4 over 5 over uh, 8 over 5, which is 1 half. Okay? So the tangent is 1 half. So 1 half is x over 3. So x is 3 over 2. Okay? So back to the triangle that this is 3 over 2. So if this is 4 by that question, this is 5 over 2. So the ratio between OD and DC is 3 over 2 by 5 over 2, which is 3 by 5. So that is the, the way to find the ratio. And the last question is to ask about the coordinates of the inner center of the triangle ABC. So that's what I talked about before, that there's a case where the triangle... Uh, it's not just go to the median, but by the angle bisector theorem. So basically, this line just meet in a in a specific point. So this is the inner center. So basically, for that they have the different formula too, but also relating to these coordinates. So let's say that is x one point y one, x two point x three point y three, and x two point y two. Now this is, has the different formula with the uh, circumcenter. So remember that circumcenter or the centroid is different with the inner center. So for the inner, cent inner center formula is actually ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 over x1, sorry, over a plus b plus c over uh, comma ay1 plus by2 plus cy3 over A plus B plus C. So what is A, B, and C? It, A is actually just the in front of the angle A, which means this side, A, B, and C. Now we have known that this is 6, 5, and 5, and let's just put it in here. 
And you know that this coordinate is 0 0.3, this is 0 0.3, and this is 4.0. You can see that the value of x1 is 0, so this is 0, 0, right? And c is 6, x3 here, which is 4. And added the side, 5 plus 5 plus 6, which is 16. And for this side, you can see that a is minus, a is 3 here, a is 5. But the y1 is 3, this is minus 3, so that will be cancelled with each other, 0. And for y here, it's actually 0, 2, right? So that is also uh, pointing out to 0. So that is 24 over 16, which is 3 over 2.0. Okay, so that is the inner center, this 3 over 2.0. And that's it for Sensu Math 2015 Part 2.